When I think about my story, I can't help but think about my salvation. When I was just nine years old in Vacation Bible School, I gave my heart to Jesus. And that's really just something that I love doing was just learning about the Lord. Uh, but when I think about my salvation, I can't help but think about my story. And so my story for me begins when I was just a young child, around four or five years old. My dad was an alcoholic and he decided that he was going to leave the family because he was making a lot of unhealthy choices. And so him and my mom got a divorce. And not long after they divorced, uh, my mom, the guy that she had married, he wanted to adopt me. And so that was such a great time in my life. I was really excited about that. But with that, forced a conversation between my dad and I. He just wanted to make sure that I understood what was going on. And so we were at his parents' house and we were sitting on the front porch and he said to me, it's something that I just really carried with me throughout my whole childhood and my whole teenage life. And what he said was this, baby girl, I love you so much, but I just love the booze more. And for me, that was just really hard. I couldn't understand how a man, specifically a father, how he could love alcohol more than his own children. It was a lot to take in, and I thought that I was excited. I thought that um, by me being adopted, it would take away everything that was happening to me. But the truth is, nothing could have filled the void of my own father. And if I'm being honest, when I saw people who would drink, it wasn't a judgmental thing, but it was more of an anger that I had within me because every time I would see someone drink, it would bring me back to my dad telling me that he loved booze more than he loved me. And so, yeah, it was a hard time. It was hard just having to deal with that throughout my life and just that abandonment that I felt by him. But that's not really where my story stops at. Also, during a period of my life when I was around nine years old, um, a man very close to our family uh, decided to take my innocence from me. He done things to me that no one should ever do to a child. And he forced me to do things to him that a child should never be forced to do. And during that time, I couldn't really understand what was going on. And I really didn't know what that was, so I didn't realize how wrong it was. With the exception of the fact that he put true fear in my life. He said to me many times that if you say anything to, about this to anyone, I will kill you or I will hurt them. And this guy was addicted to drugs and he was also an alcoholic. And so I really believed him. I had seen him on many rages and I had seen him hurt many people and I seen him lash out at many people. And so. There was no question in my mind and no doubt in my mind that he would hurt me had I said anything. Thankfully, my Mima, which is my mom's mom, she loved the Bible. And she would just constantly help me memorize scripture. She would just tell me over and over, this scripture is what's going to bring you through. God's word is what's going to bring you through the hardest times in your life. And we would write scripture on postcards and we would just really learn to know the Bible. But little did she know the suffering and the silence that I was having. She had no clue about what was going on with me. And neither did anyone else in my family because I kept it to myself. But another thing about that story is that my other grandma, my nanny, 
she realized something was going on. And so she really, really wanted to talk to me and to get me to share this with her. And I explained to her that I couldn't. And she told me that I needed to and for me to trust her. And so I did. That was on Christmas Eve. And just the next day she had a heart attack and she passed away. And as an adult, logically, you could understand that it was a heart attack and that's what caused her death. But as a young child and the fears that I had and it being the same night that I had told her, I lived with the fear and the guilt and the shame that I was the cause of her death. And ultimately, I carried that with me throughout my whole childhood and my teenage life. But during all of this, I could still feel God's love around me. And I had built up inside of me resentment and pain and anger. And I harbored a lot of feelings that I never even knew I had. And I knew that it was just the devil creeping in. But there was a day, there was one day that I had had enough. And I just came home and there was no one around. And I was a teenager at this time. And I just was overwhelmed with all that was going on. And I just remember falling on my bed, literally falling back and just singing, Jesus loves me over and over. And what felt like just a moment to me was more like hours and it was just a precious time for me and my relationship with the Lord just a spirit of renewal during that time because I was able to truly forgive myself and forgive God for what had happened see I thought that he had left me but the truth was he had carried me through it and he reminded me during that time that his death on the cross, his blood, it covered it all for me. Every single bit of it, it covered it. It covered my, for my shame, it covered my guilt, it covered my feelings of abandonment, it covered my feelings of feeling unloved and my uncertainty in this world. It covered it all. And I'm so thankful that Jesus loves me and I'm so thankful that he has given me this opportunity to just be able to share that love with you too because God loves you. And I can assure you that if you're going through anything right now, if you're going through silence yourself and you've not shared anything with anyone and you have this brokenness and emptiness inside of you, I can assure you without a doubt in my mind that God's love that he sent Jesus to this world. His shed of blood covered it all. And so I just wanna thank you for this opportunity today. I thank you that we have a church that is willing to invest in us and allow us to share our stories so that others can hear because it's through our church and the ministry that we have that's allowed me to be able to open up and share this untold story with anybody. And so I'm very thankful today.